I've kind of been in, intending to make this video the whole time. Uh, you know, I think it's important to kind of talk about where we where we came from and how this all kind of started and, and what the Tick Ranch really is. So about 14 years ago, my wife and I and our daughter, who was still at home and just a young kid at that time, purchased a piece of property um, not too far from our home where we live. And it wasn't much. It was just a bunch of brush and timber, and, and it had an old house that's fallen down that, that still is just barely standing. And uh, we bought it, and we kind of just sat on it for a while. We There was always kind of visions and thoughts of what we could do with this place and how what we could kind of make it be for us as a family, and that kind of changed as time went on. Um, we got to a point, we purchased the property. Uh, when we very first purchased the property, we purchased it from a family who had had a bunch of dogs on it. Um, I'm uncertain as exactly what all the dogs were for, but there were a lot a lot of dogs on here they took the pins they took the dogs but they left the fleas and ticks so for the first two summers while we were uh, kind of purchasing the place and, and renovating it and kind of getting used to it and figuring it out every time we came out here if it was above 75 degrees outside you would just get covered in ticks to the point at which my young daughter at the time started calling it the tick ranch and the name just sort of stuck so from that point on, it became the Tick Ranch. Over the next 13 years or so, it kind of set idle. Um, we had a little spot where we'd come up and we'd camp and we'd spend weekends. And there was areas that I would, I would hunt and trap on and I would do things with. But for the most part, the property just kind of sat there. It grew up even more. It got even worse. It got even brushier. It got even nastier. Um, until we just decided, you know... We need to do something with it, but what do we want to do? So the decision was made that we would start getting some livestock. Um, we purchased, we started purchasing Dexter cattle at that time. We also purchased a couple of uh, Highland heifers, as well as we purchased a couple of low-line Aberdeen Angus. Um, after we got them and we got some of the, the stuff around, the audience we have now, go ahead and show the audience, uh, we purchased some sheep. So these are our sheep. These are these are hair sheep. Uh, as you can tell, they're incredibly, incredibly friendly and curious. Um, and we just started from there. So we now have uh, about 18 head of cattle. We have five head of sheep and three hogs. What we envision is building a farm that looks very much like the farms that we remember as kids. Uh, you know, a handful of cows, handful of pigs, some sheep, some goats. Um, just to kind of try to return. Oh, and of course my wife's chickens. We also have chickens out here. So we're just trying to maybe preserve something that we remember from our childhood that we've seen in the days of corporate farming as bigger and bigger farms. I, I mean, it's almost laughable. It's kind of tongue-in-cheek whenever we call it the Tick Ranch because at 20 head of cattle, we're not exactly a ranch. At 5 head of sheep, we're not exactly ranchers of sheep. Um, definitely with 3 pigs, we're not hog farmers whenever nowadays a barn may have 2,500 hogs in it. Um, we're just trying to keep something alive we remember remember from our childhood. Um, at this point in time, it's not about making huge profits. We are. Our goal someday is to make this farm pay for itself. Right now, we work in town. Um, but at some point, maybe closer to retirement, if, if this, the farm would at least break even, that'd be fantastic. So we're just inviting everybody along here on YouTube to just kind of follow along on our journey and just kind of see where this takes us. Um, hope to put many many videos on in the future and kind of introduce everybody to the livestock and kind of just show how it progresses and grows.